bit the dust. You've probably heard someone say that something bit the dust when it stops working or breaks. You might have also heard bit the dust in reference to someone dying, though definitely not when talking about someone you actually know. My toaster bit the dust this morning, so I couldn't have avo toast, your friend might say to you during social studies class. Oh my gosh, it says here that several people bit the dust in this summer's heat wave, your roommate might say while reading the news. Bit the dust is a common idiom that means that something or someone has died, stopped working, or is broken beyond repair. Bit, of course, is the past tense of bite, so you can also say bite the dust if you are talking about something that has not yet taken place. People don't normally eat dust, dirt, or earth, so why would biting the dust come to mean the death of someone or something? Many sources believe that the idiom comes from the idea that when a soldier dies in battle, he would fall, his face hitting the ground, getting a mouthful of dirt. Indeed, references to having dust or dirt in one's mouth upon death can be found in European literature dating back at least 2,000 years. There are a great many idioms in English that allude to death and many of them are used colloquially in reference to objects. Kick the bucket and give up the ghost are just two other English examples. There are many interesting allusions to death in other languages. In both German and Turkish, they say something like sewing horseshoes. In Russian, they say someone plays in the box. In Hindi, they say that one has taken his or her last breath. In Chinese, it is said that one flies back to the West. Though many cultures find it distasteful or bad luck to talk about death, it is simply a natural part of this world and of the universe. Death marks the end of one life, but it is also the beginning of another life. If your colleague asks you why the office printer is not working, you might say, we can't print anything right now. The printer seems to have bitten the dust. Sorry, I didn't get your messages this morning because my phone bit the dust. You might say to a friend after your mobile phone stopped working. Essentially, the idiom bit the dust is now mostly used to refer to inanimate objects that have broken. So go ahead and use it in a humorous manner.